Hello friends, in this video, let's set up the workspace. We need three things to get going. Terraform, a GCP project, and a code editor. You can get Terraform from the website at terraform.io. On the top right corner, hit the download button. Terraform is distributed as a single binary. There are several binaries for different operating systems. Select the right one for you. Then to install Terraform, just unzip it and move it to a directory included in your system's path. For Mac OS and Linux, move it to USR local bin. For Windows, update the environment variable to contain your Terraform's binary's location. You can check your installation when 12 with the command terraform-v. This simply displays Terraform version. Congratulations, Terraform is ready. If you don't have a Google account yet, you can create one at console.cloud.google.com they offer a generous free tier of $300, all you have to activate your billing account to be able to use their services. To do so, open the navigation menu on the left, select Billing, scroll down to Payment Methods. From here, you can manage your payment methods to add, update, or delete them. That being said, let's head back to the main dashboard. GCP organizes resources into projects, so let's create one for this course. On the navigation menu, open the project selector and create a new project. Give it a name, something like terraform-on-gcp. It could really be anything you like. But notice that the project ID is globally unique. No two people could use the same ID on GCP. You can edit it on creation if you like to, but it is immutable unlike the product name. Okay, now hit create and the project should be ready in a moment. Now, open the project selector again and pick the one we just created. And one more thing, we need credentials to manage this project with Terraform. To enable Terraform to access and manage your GCP resources, we'll create a service account and generate an access key. Open the navigation menu, select I am an admin, then service accounts. From this window, you can manage your service account. It is still empty for now, so let's create a new one. Name it Terraform SA for service account, then hit create and continue. In this section, we define the set of actions this service account is allowed to perform in this project, give it the project editor role to allow it to access all resources, then continue and done to create it. Now that your service account is ready, generate an access key and save it on your machine. Switch to keys tab, add key then create new one, and leave to JSON and create. Copy the file's name, we'll be doing it later. This key gives access to our GCP project to anyone who has it. Make sure to keep it in a safe location and keep in mind that you can revoke it anytime from the Cloud Console by clicking the delete button below. Last thing, we need a code editor to edit our configuration files. I'll be using VS Codium, you can get it from vscodium.com. It is the open source version of Microsoft VS Code Editor. You can actually use the editor of your choice, but if you like this one, you can download it from here. You have all the necessary commands down below. Okay, let's head back to the terminal and create a folder for your workspace and move to it. Move your service account key from where you saved it to this location as credentials.json. Okay, now launch VS Codium to inspect this key's content. If you open the credentials file, you will notice that we have all the necessary information to access your project and manage it. You have the project ID, the private key ID, the private key, the client email. That's why it is so sensitive and why you should keep it secured. So that's it for this video. In the next one, you will write your first Terraform configuration file. Thank you for watching and see you then.